This is a review of the Snapper HD 48 Volt Max Cordless Leaf Blower Model 1687968. In this review, I'll talk about what I like and dislike, talk about what's included, specs, warranty, and lastly, show you the tool in action. Now, these days, there's no shortage of lawn tool manufacturers. It seems like everyone and their mother, well, well not my mother, has a blower on the market. Blowers are great for any number of applications, and this snapper blower is specifically best for household use. So small jobs like blowing leaves, cleaning off patios and driveways, drying things, or blowing sawdust off power tools in the driveway. No blower is recommended for indoor use though, so don't try this at home. What? No? What I like most about battery powered blowers is the ability to grab them and go. Well, assuming the battery's charged, of course. I also like that maintenance is simple, there are no fumes, they're easy to start, and you don't need to wear earplugs. Additionally, as a left-handed individual, I like that I can use a blower in either hand without worrying about being burned by an exhaust or hot engine. I got this set as a kit, which included a battery and charger, but you can also get the standalone tool. The blower has a brush motor and uses a Briggs & Stratton 48 volt max lithium ion battery. The kit I got came with battery charging station model BS2AC48 and a 2 amp hour battery model BSB2AH48. The battery charges in an hour and it doesn't have memory so you can top it off. It's important to know that the battery is not chipped fully charged so be sure to charge it before first use for maximum tool performance. What's also important to know is that if the battery has been stored uh, with little to no charge for a long period, the charger will go into recovery mode, which will take 20 hours to fully charge the battery. However, that enhances the life of the battery. Overall, I'm not impressed with the one hour charge time versus batteries of some of my other power tools, but I can live with it. The battery has a power gauge, or as the manufacturer refers to it, a battery capacity indicator, which is helpful. Uh, and the battery also has this USB port, um, which it's a USB type A, which can be used to charge your phone or tablet or other mobile device if you have a USB cable in your pocket. You just plug in the USB cable, plug in your phone, press the red button here and it'll supply power to your phone. Weird, but cool, maybe helpful. I say weird just because the blower is intended for residential use, so I'll already be around the house. I guess if I was working with power tools in the driveway and my phone battery was low, I wanted to hear the phone, it might be convenient. Now I'm gonna share with you the features and specifications of the snapper blower, as well as compare it to my gas powered handheld and backpack blowers for reference. So, let's take this off. So the blower has a variable speed trigger and infinite speed control, so you don't have to hold the trigger and also a boost mode, which provides 25% more airflow. Well, you'll see it in action in a minute. Turbo boost. The specifications say 450 CFM. CFM stands for cubic feet per minute. And while that seemed impressive to me because it's more than either of my gas power blowers, it only blows up to 120 miles per hour. That means small jobs. And at the end of the day, it's all about choosing the right tool for the job. So for comparison, my handheld blower blows up to 150 miles per hour. That's four, and it's rated for 400 CFM. And the backpack blower oh, blows up to 250 miles per hour, or 251 miles per hour, and it's rated for 434 cubic feet per minute. Wait. The snapper blower weighs about 8.8 .8 pounds with the battery, which is three pounds lighter than my two cycle handheld blower and 16 pounds lighter than my backpack blower. The tool is well balanced and certainly comfortable to use. With a two amp hour battery, the tool runs for 20 minutes on the normal setting and even less when intermittently using the turbo mode. One hour of charge time for 20 minutes or less of work really isn't great in my opinion, so having a backup battery or the five amp hour battery might be helpful to some. I don't think I have to tell you that with gas blowers, I can just keep filling the tank and work all day, well, until I run out of gas. Regarding price, this is a nice blower, but the price is a little high in my opinion. 
I say that because it's a brush motor, batteries are expensive, and there are less expensive options on the market, some of which not only blow leaves, but also suck and mulch them. For consumer use, the blower comes with a 36 month warranty and the charger and battery come with a 24 month warranty. So keep your receipt. In the case of commercial use, that means anything other than residential use, for example, income producing or rental purposes, there is no warranty at all. Keep that in mind. Now I'm gonna show you the tool in action. Since it's winter and most of the leaves are buried under the white stuff, I had to be a little creative. Check this out. That's a beautiful mess. Nice fluffy snow. It's still like 25 degrees out. One thing I noticed is that unlike some of my other battery operated tools, which shut off when the battery is too weak to supply full power, this blower uses whatever power it has to try and keep going. That means when the battery is weak, turbo mode stops working first, but you can still use normal mode until the tool just doesn't have enough power to do anything. To wrap up, this is a decent blower for small jobs around the house. In my opinion, runtime versus charge time may present a challenge to some folks, so consider extra batteries or the five amp hour battery if necessary. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please do me a favor and like it. And most importantly, please subscribe. That always helps me out. And thank you so much for watching.